Hey YouTube people, Cam here with the Sea Butters channel. You know, I recently got interested in electric vehicles. Well, I guess I didn't recently become interested in electrical vehicles, but I recently took the plunge on one. I purchased a BMW i3, and the BMW i3 stock charger that comes with the car only runs on 120 volts. And I said charger, but I really meant EVSE, which stands for Electric Vehicle Service Equipment. And what an EVSE does, it doesn't actually charge the car, it negotiates the rate of current and voltage between uh, your power source and the car's onboard charger. So they're kind of important to have. Um, but the charge that comes with the car is only 120 volts and 12 amps. So if you want to charge the car as fast as it can take a charge in three and a half hours, you need to step up to what's called a level two EVSE. The name of the juice box kept coming up. So this here is the Juicebox Pro 40. And the Pro designation means that it's Wi-Fi capable. You can actually connect to an app on your phone and see how fast things are charging, see lots of details about what's happening, which you know me, I like, I like stats and seeing what's happening with my electronics more than just plugging in and, and forgetting about it. So that made it fun for me. And to start off, this is the 2016 or 2017 model uh, that just kind of came out and they changed the design language on the box here. As you can see, it's a nice black powder coating with orange accents. Before they still had kind of orange accents, but a metallic box and it had a Wi-Fi antenna that hung off the side that, you know, didn't, didn't look as streamlined and as, as cool basically as this one does. So I'm happy about that. Uh, and it also comes with a heavy duty cord uh, attachment to the wall a heavy duty J1772 connector and uh, it connects into a basically a standard RV22240 volt outlet um, particularly the the NEMA 1450 if if you are familiar with the designations and what that means so uh, we're gonna take a unboxing look at this see what's in the box see what we need to install it show how to install it on the wall and also take a look at all the menus and features and capabilities that you have on the app that the juice box comes with. So let's get started. Okay, so we've got the wall holder, looks like there. And juice box juice cord, instruction manual, take a look at that. Nice little feature there. And the main event. We've got our juice box Pro 40 amp. And uh, as you can see, this is a NEMA 1450 end on this for 50 amp operation. Well, when you have a 50 amp outlet, as you all probably know this, but you only want to run 40 amps concurrent on a 50 amp circuit. So um, there we go. We're going to take a look at the cabling here. Nice and heavy duty there. The EVSE itself is, looks really nice. And that is some solid cabling right there. So let's take a look at the installation. There you have it. Really simple. The little adapter holder here also has screws included right there that you can use. And this hole right here is optional. You can use it either with some sort of security device or you can also permanently, well, semi-permanently use a third wood screw to mount that to the wall if you don't plan on ever unmounting your juice box and taking it with you. 
When getting ready to mend your juice box, placement is a key concern. You want to be near your NEMA 1450 port, um, and you want to be able to drill into some solid wood and not just the drywall. In my case, this is the center of my garage, right on this wall, and uh, I have a bracing joint right behind the drywall here, and this is entirely made uh, of wood backing behind the drywall. So I'll be able to get two great mount points right there, um, in addition to the middle point as well. Now, if you're working in the center of a wall, you may have to work off of just one being in, into a, a two by four that's behind the drywall. So just consider your placement and make sure you have enough room to tap into your outlet before you get started. So just make sure you're mounting it straight. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the app itself. You can find it on the Play Store or also in the Apple App Store. And really easy to find. And you'll log in with a Google, Facebook, or Twitter account. I'm going to use my Google account. So it's just going to ask for real basic info here. but it will want you to register your email with the app. Once it's loaded up, you can add your juice box. First, you're going to say uh, it's not connected yet. It's not the local area network. And it will go out and try to find the device. And then you can tell it what your uh, WLAN network settings are. Once you're connected, you can set a password for the device. And then you can plug into your car. Here you can set kind of a name for the device, a maximum charge rate, and your location. So I'm going to set mine to 40. My uh, car can only do 32 anyways. Then you can set your car settings, including the battery capacity, uh, the rate that it can charge at, and then you're set up. So quite a few things here, lots of details on how the device is charging, the rate, the voltage, even the temperature, which is kind of cool. It also shows you the savings that you have. I'm assuming that's based on, you know, average gasoline price in the area. I also decided to take a look at the device after it had been charging for about 45 minutes just to make sure all the connections were good, weren't getting super hot, and everything looks good. Um, I mean, you can see it's warmer than the surrounding area, but the, any electronic device is going to do that. 72 degrees is not anything to <laughs> worry about, so it, it looks good. So none of the documentation mentioned this, but um, I kind of traced the IP address of the juice box and went back out to the 
uh, address in a browser and found that there is a backend menu available. And um, I guess we'll go ahead and, and let it update here. The funny thing is the documentation uh, for the juice box didn't mention anything about this. So uh, we'll kind of poke around in here and see what we find. There's a connect menu where you can, looks like you can probably adjust the network. Like some system files in here. Console. I don't know what type of commands you might use in here. I imagine it's running some form of Linux. For more update. And a cloud service protocol. So pretty basic. This is probably why they don't mention this in the documentation because there's really not a whole lot of things in here. Although it does look like you can pull some of the config files and see what they're doing. Could probably update those as well, but I will let you do that at your own discretion. Okay, so let's talk for a second about the JuiceNet app. So in the overview screen you can see that the background is that of a BMW i3 and that's because it's plugged into my car right now and it has a background image for different electric vehicles which is pretty neat and you can see it's put 32 percent back in the battery it's added 26 miles into the battery six kilowatt hours uh, if you look at the control kind of the same view but you can also adjust and turn on smart charging or stop charging manually in the details you can see live how much current it's pulling what the voltage is um, the power also the temperature which is really useful you can tell if something's overheating or not which is good um, also you can see how much energy has been put in the car I've had this for about a week now and I've already saved twenty five dollars and that's based on uh, your area and the cost of power in your area as well. So if you look at this screen you can see all the different charges over time and this is really cool because you can actually see the power that's going into your car instead of just and sometimes if you rely just on the car you're not going to have an accurate view of how much power you're actually using so this is this is neat um, the other cool thing is when you do some charges this is a good example you're able to see right when I plugged it in it was pulling a full 7.2 um, kilowatt hours and then you know the charge cycle on the BMW i3 is such that it ramps down uh, that nears 100% and then it ends up fully charged and then you can see it didn't pull any power over the night but then in the morning it actually went through a precondition cycle which uh, you know that's part of your power consumption for driving an electric car so that gets counted and you're able to have a more accurate representation of the power that you're using which is neat and as you can see you can do lots of things <laughs> on this graph you can see what it was charging at what time and gives you really a lot of details I'd like to see in the future some sort of export capability for this that would really make things pretty neat now the thing that I can't show you is uh, the special rewards area it's only for people in California um, so I can't really speak to this but uh, other features on the app on the right hand side you can set a schedule I think I may have mentioned this um, in case you only want to charge at certain hours there's lots of different settings that you can do you can set your maximum amp rate now what is the one thing I noticed is it will let you say oh I'll say 400 amps and it will let you enter that I verified with um, 
with uh, the staff at Juicebox, and they, it is hardware limited to 40 amps. So even if you set that higher, uh, it wouldn't actually let you charge or wouldn't try to charge it anything higher than that 40 amp rate. So just keep that in mind. Uh, you can also uh, have more than one vehicle, and when you plug in the vehicle, it knows which vehicle you're plugged into. And have some news. Uh, keeps you up to date with what's going on in the EV world. And I haven't had any problems with this app. It hasn't crashed ever. It hasn't really ever stopped working. I've never had to go reset the juice box or anything like that. It seems like it's been really stable. So, all in all, really pleased with the juice box Pro 40. Um, I don't think you could expect much more from an EVSE. And if you're interested in picking this up, Go ahead and check out the Amazon link uh, in the description of this video. And thanks for watching. Really appreciate it.